welcome to Gallup Farm. What are the obvious differences between a farm in the 1930s and a house in a city would probably be this big cook range. In the city, by the 30s, you might be cooking on an electric range. Uh, it took a lot longer for electricity to get to the farms. So people in the country were still relying on wood to cook their food and heat their homes. Now, big ranges like this one have a lot of features that make them easy to cook on. There's a variety of dampers and air vents and things that adjust the amount of air that comes into your firebox, which is right here. So this small compartment is just the, where the fire is in the stove, and then the heat just radiates around the oven and across the cooktop. So by letting more air in to circulate around the firebox makes the fire burn hotter. You soon get on to how to do it without worrying about exact temperatures. For instance, if your oven is too hot, you don't cook in it yet until it cools off, or you bake everything a little bit quicker. You just learn to gauge that. A lot of people ask, oh, how do you regulate the temperature on the stove? You can regulate it a little bit, but mostly what you do is you think of these two burners as high, medium, and low. You just keep moving away from the heat source as things get too hot. One of the nicest things about this range is the water reservoir. So the water reservoir here, it's copper lined. It holds several gallons of water. And the beauty of this would be that while you were cooking breakfast, by the time you're finished, you've got hot water to wash dishes, mop the floor, do some laundry. Another important reason you would need this is if you're still relying on the pump out in the yard for all of your water, in the winter those would freeze. And so this hot water was how you could thaw out your pump so that you had water for the rest of the day. So that was important to think ahead and keep this filled. So you would, if you wanted a cup of coffee, hot water to do anything, a warm meal, you had to have a fire, summer and winter. So that's one of the reasons that many people had summer kitchens behind the main house. So that was a smaller building behind the house and this stove could be taken apart in the spring, cleaned really well and reassembled in the summer kitchen. Sometimes you might actually have an extra range in the summer kitchen if you were well to do. But the point of it was you did all the cooking out there canning, anything that involved the stove. And of course, to do laundry, you're gonna heat several big pans of water all day to do your laundry. And so by having a summer kitchen in which to do all that, it kept the house cool. Because remember, there was no air conditioning yet. And if you wanted to sleep at night, you did not want a really hot house from cooking all day. So those are some of the features of the wood stove here at Gallant Farm. And I hope you enjoy your visit today. Thanks for coming.